NPCs, players, everybody is going for the kill. Right. Because there's no oh, repercussions. Fuck, <laughs> so there's no repercussions for killing a red guy. So Maxime almost just got red. <laughs> yeah, he shot me. <laughs> he likes to joke around. So when you kill somebody um, as a criminal, you get about 300 seconds of criminal status in which everybody's gonna go for your head. There we go, that's how it's something finished. Yep. Shall we go for the next one? Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to go back to Hangar and see what it is. Or what it is. Right. Or is it just the marks? I think it said on the map ones will just, just have blue. You can, you can just press M and trigger the, the map and uh, you will see the missions you have, like a tiny exclamations. Uh, well, there's none. No hourglass there. Can't see any with exclamation. I think you have to unlock the places. Wanna unlock it? Sure. Um, switch over to the ship with the weird name. The Dewar. Yes, the Dewar Bobber. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna slot my favorite okay. ship. And I'm gonna meet you at. What's the. Do you have Capture Dreadnought unlocked? Uh, I believe so, yeah. I think I can go all the way to Radar Range. Can you zoom in a bit more? Uh, yeah. You would need to visit the places, right? Does it does it state so? Well, I think I can go to Radar Range. That's about it. I don't think I'll go anywhere else from there. Radar Range. Can you jump to it? Yep. You know what? Let's uh, go s like sector by sector so let's meet at scrapyard again okay to the pay to whoop there or just fly there from <laughs> Fidel is making jokes getting neck beard <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm at scrapyard yep <clears throat> just loading in Oh, you forgot to take your other ship. Oh crap! Uh, doesn't doesn't matter. Doesn't it. matter. Let's uh, use it. So this is my favorite ship. It's called the uh, Signing. Some call it Kining. It has tiny. A, it has a tiny bird that wiggles as a thing <laughs> called the the core or something. So far, I really like this game and its mechanics. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I really, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying playing it. Okay, I'm Gee. gonna, I'm gonna uh, do my best and escort you. So let's go for capture Dreadnought. Okay. Maximiano is trying to say something, but I can't remember what it was related to. I talk to too many people on a daily basis and 
it's really hard for me to remember what I said. <laughs> okay, so let's go for Ontrego's Drift. So this map, I believe we played it. It was... Capture Dreadnought. Yeah, Capture Dreadnought. The same name for the map. Just uh, yeah. stay a little bit above this ship because it has too many turrets. So it's a Dreadnought under construction, as you can see. Yeah. You can activate your special module by pressing F, which gives you a nice speed boost. Also, you can use a mod called Engine Overcharge. Oh yeah, I don't have it on this one. So that kind of lets you speed through the map quite easily. Okay, let's go M Imperial Transport Hub yep. and you will have the chance to dock at the Empire Space Station. I believe you've been in Elidium the whole time, right? Yes. That's the fancy one, okay. Let's go for the grubby one. There's people set over here. Okay, so we are close. Station Guardian 17 is just around the corner. Uh, three people on me. Boom, boom, boom. Bye. The NPCs are not so difficult here. You already have a uh, achievement. Just killing people. Well, oh, bots. So supposedly this is Earth, I guess. It's what, sir? Our planet Earth. Okay. Supposedly, supposedly not sure by the lore so this station here is the Empire station wanna see how it looks like inside? yeah let's dock I do a dock to it there's, a, there's an entrance the Emperor greets you mercenary uh, you missed it Oh, is it the little runways? Yeah, no, 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 not the, not those. There's two entrances. Go a bit above the the station. Go above the station. Oh, okay, over there.
There, there's the entrance. You can tell by the distance. Okay, cool. That's just switched to me. Divi ship as well, this one. And how does it feel? It looks pretty cool. I like that it's it's different and they've not just pasted the same stations. But you changed interiors and stuff, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I just upgraded my stuff to do uh get me halfway to level four. Hey, level five rather. Okay, wanna go for a spin around the Empire space? Sure. Hmm. I would have to invite you to my corporation to see the dreadnoughts. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. Um, if it's okay with your corporation. <laughs> I'm the VP, so I think it should be okay. <laughs> Now it should be interesting to see if uh, these guys are gonna Roger. reply. Go for it. So uh, you have now access to the corporate stuff. It's the icon next to your uh, profile. Yep. So when you open it, you will see uh, the members list leaderboards within that uh, corporation you can see the shipyard uh, currently uh, the federation one is active but you can see the other two parked so there's a chance of you to see two uh, different dreadnoughts i like that red one that looks pretty sweet yep the log is basically a log, and the war portion is a war portion. Yeah. Ready to see the big ship? Sure. Okay, let's uh, undock into the Empire Guardian 17. It's uh, it's free of charge. To jump there. Yep. Okay, so follow me to. Where's the gate? Ah, there's the gate. Corporate shipyard. <clears throat> there's three shipyards, and you can access them from their main bases. Oh, okay. So there's two more uh, space stations, like for Empire, for Federation, and for Jericho. They are similar but different in design. I could have sworn I clicked on a little ship. Don't attack anything in uh, station space because there's police here. They will one shot okay. you, and doesn't matter what you're flying. Right. <laughs> Good to know. So beware. <laughs> Okay, here we are basically in the shipyard. Wait. We are not in the same instance. Ah well. Just go over it and you'll see the whole shipyard. It's really nicely designed, at least for me. I'm I'm a big Empire fan. Yeah. So can the corporations actually like customize these? 
you can customize the weapons on it and some uh, stats by changing equipment and stuff but essentially the design stays the same only the turrets and stuff change oh, okay and it's autonomous so basically Dude, look at nobody, that. nobody can fly it but you can summon it in those uh, corporate battles I can show it to you un until yeah we'll need probably to unlock that custom battle I will be able to show you a lot more that's crazy how big that thing is it's huge especially the when turrets you... like four times the size of my ship yeah especially when you see the big turrets fire uh, even though it's a friendly turret, it's gonna blast you to bits if you stay too close. What's that little globey thing on top? Globey thing? Uh, that's the bomb you have to carry to the enemy dreadnought to destroy their uh, dreadnought uh, elements. So you have three things on each dreadnought. Uh, command center the shield and the weapon array and you have to destroy them for maximum damage on the enemy dreadnought and that's how you win a uh, dreadnought battle wow you can damage uh, these uh, tiny boxes all around the dreadnought uh, especially the ones that light up they can be destroyed for extra points so you have to snipe them off and there are a lot of different turrets dealing a lot of different uh, damage types and there, there's basically a lot to it you, you have to experience it to know everything uh, yeah sometimes i can't even remember everything <laughs> that's just crazy i mean the the scale of that thing nuts yeah, it's insane. And there's three more, and lately there there's a fourth one introduced, the Elidium uh, Dreadnought. It's so sleek in design. It's really great. It's a bit smaller than this one, but it's really sleek. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna wait for you in uh, Station Seventeen. Okay. You can jump to it from the map, so you don't have to travel to the to the gate. Unless you want to scavenge the place a bit more. Oh no, that's cool. That's f oh, that's free Jones. Sweet. So I was thinking uh, we could go for a circle like. Empa Imperial Transport Hub, Transit Route, Iridium Mines, Tracking Station, and then on, on Tragos. Okay. So, Imperial Transport is this way. What I'm quickly going to do, just to make it a little bit easier, is I am going to make sure I switch to my little ship here. Just so I can fly a bit quicker. No problem. Usually recons are designed for such a thing due to their special module. Also the speed cap in this game is about 800 meters per second. Uh, yeah, it's me because of the module. Why is it not letting me switch? Oh, no way. I'm just being dumb. I'm being really dumb. So I'm going to do just because I'm... What happened? Do you know? So, uh, you know? Uh, there's no tackler in the Empire range. So he doesn't have a tackler yet. Until uh, he uh, unlocks Federation at least. Are you over the... Transport. 
Uh, nope, I did not jump. Are you there? Yeah, I'm in the transport hub. Okay. Oh, my God, so spinning around in circles makes me feel sick. Oh man, when you start playing Inceptors, you're gonna be extremely sick. <laughs> they are so tiny and fast and agile and everything. Maybe you should uh, consider going for the options again and changing the maximum camera distance. Just roll it all the way up. What is that in game? Yeah, it's in the game options. Oh, yeah, maximum camera distance. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's a bit better. So that way you have a bit more space in your screen. It doesn't uh, the ship doesn't take all of the space. Okay, so let's go to transit round. Watch this. For this. <laughs> Jesus. It's like whatever I do, I just blow them up. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, it's easy. This tiny thing packs a lot of punch. Enemy ship destroyed. Okay, I'm gonna jump so we land yep. in the same instance. There's a slight chance of when we jump at the same time we end up in a different, different server. Okay. So one has to jump first and then sequentially... Aliens. I got them covered, you go for the gate. Uh, coming for me. Did you see? Did you hear the sound they make? If they do, no. if they make that screechy sound, they have you locked. So the way you can actually know when you're being locked by somebody, there's going to be a sound soundtrack. Should I just call it a soundtrack? Well, basically, it's if it's a pirate, they will threaten you by something. If it's aliens, they will just screech at you. Okay. So every type has its own taunt or something. All right, jumping. So iridium mines are my favorite place to farm did we end up in the different in, in a different uh, server so, yeah. yeah never mind just go for a uh, tracking station so basically this is my favorite map because I farmed these transports into oblivion when it was a thing <laughs> And I farmed them for destroyer parts. It was a fairly difficult task, but I did it with some movies and uh, series. So what I did is just, I would be one hand on my mouse and just killing everything. And in the other hand, it would be my TV remote and I would just wait for the transports to spawn and kill them right away Enemy ship destroyed. get off me part it's okay fit I'll see you soon uh, next stream is due tomorrow uh, this was a bit unplanned but I just wanted to continue the let's play portion of star conflict with neckbeard so I hope to see you tomorrow.
Same place, same time. Have uh, a good I'm in one. Truck and station. Okay, jumping right now. Also, the iridium mines are the place where the defiler mission, the big boss mission, appears. So at least you know the layout. Uh, can you just go with me here? Yep. Boom. So there's these uh, tiny buffs you can collect in open space. See this one, the yellow oh, yeah. one. Uh, this one gives you extra speed. Oh, okay. So next gate is Entregos. So let's go there. You should have a significant speed buff. Yep. Also, I do have the same buff. So, if we are in a group and somebody picks up any buff, everybody shares that buff within a group in open space. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, you collected it, but I have it as well. So, at least you're not leaving people in the dust. Yep. There are a lot of different buffs from damage to repairs to just invincibility in general. So those are the perks of open space. Awesome. I wanted to say th something, but I forgot. Something tied to open space. What was it? Ah, oh, well, I forgot. I'll remember later. <laughs> so, we are officially leaving Empire Space by going through, well, the home world of Empire, by going through the Raider Range. Sweet. So, so is it, it like all that war on the outside of this? <laughs> Well, the sectors are designated by difficulty, so when you hover over a sector it says zone difficulty high, PvE mode active or inactive. So those are the things that you have to look out for. This is where I had a lot of PvP fights. I always joke around with uh, with people when I host training sessions and stuff. There's nothing that actually trains you better in PvP terms like a full cargo of highly valuable stuff and somebody jumps you in open space and it, it usually was this place. The panic you experience at that point is just insane. But it also kind of trains you to um, manage that discomfort. Yeah. Also, you can see. Yeah, it's pretty much the way I learned in Eve. Also, you can see here uh, the different uh, gate designs. Oh yeah. So you're leaving uh, solar systems by leaping to other solar systems in this place. So they tend to have these big gates. But it's mostly because they are located towards the middle, I guess, of the universe. So longer jumps, I think. Also, it's quite psychedelic to get into the gate and see all these colors. Yeah, I've done it almost every time. It spins me out. It, it gets you really dizzy. 
It's a stoner's dream. Oh, I can't go through this. <laughs> I need clearance level 5. Aw, oh, man. I jumped to Blackwood Shipyard. <laughs> cool. Oh, well. At least Wait, you, but... you saw the whole place now. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's, it's nice that the, the hangers and stuff aren't just cut pastes. They're, they're designed differently and stuff. It's pretty cool. So in case you don't like the Empire dock, you can go to Elidium and dock there. The home worlds are free of charge for jumping. <laughs> So, I can see you're halfway done to clearance 5. Yep. Should we go for clearance 5? Um, tell me on. Probably get a bit more in, yeah. Should be good. Did you wrap up with the Deimos? Uh, the Deimos, yeah, that's 8 out of 8 now. Do you want to go... Higher. So, and get the Phobos, yeah. Deimos 2, Phobos is rank 7, okay. I think you're pretty safe all the way to rank 9. The rank 9 is basically where it's uh, gonna break your neck. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're pretty much okay going to... S to rank 9 at this point.